My name is Diego Villarán. We are in Alto Peru. This is a social project in Chorrillos, Lima, Peru. And this is the Muay Thai area that we are working now with the kids from our school. Now we have like 15 kids that study here for free and now are in competition time. So we are going to see a hard training in a few minutes. The, all the kids uh, mostly come from our neighborhood, that's Alto Peru, it's an old uh, shanty town, I uh, or say something, and there, there is a lot of family that work in, in the fish, fish uh, area, you know, they're fishermen, and it's a poor neighborhood with uh, little economic resources, so these kids have few opportunities, not much education, not much activities to do in the day, so like in 2008 we start uh, giving them free lessons of surf and Muay Thai. Uh, now we are seven years after that and we, are, we still are working with the kids, we have national champions in Muay Thai and now we have some instructors that are, uh, they grow with us, no? so they are like our instructor 100% from here in Alto Peru. Here is Ismael Peña, a national champion last year, and I think this year is gonna do it as well. No? <laughs> I grow in, in the neighborhood of Alto Peru. I grow there and I have seen many histories of people in my age and going to jail and many other activities that are not good for them, and drugs, delinquency, Institution, I don't know, but it's a hard neighborhood. It's hard to grow there. So we try to give them some opportunities. And I think the sport is one of the things that can make a difference for them, no? Because they can put all that energy that they don't, don't know how to do, to canalize or to focus that energy. And you put them goals, no? The, surf well, fight well, I don't know, but they start uh, to think in other, in other possibilities. No? And I think it's very, very good for their life that they have a, a, a discipline, and an activity that they can develop every day. No? And a safe environment, no? because in the street there is a non-safe environment, it's very, very hard. And they find like another home here, you know, that they want to come and we al always make other activities, you know, like cleaning activities, after that we eat and we go to other gyms to, to eat championships and we are like a big family now. You know? I have seen many kids that are making good decisions and they're making a, a, a better life for them. I think the, the Alto Peru Muay Thai School and Surf School is going to have something to do in the future. No? It's going to make some names.